Our new sci-fi campaign, Starforged, is live on GameFound, and it's a new kind of project in a lot of ways. I'm here to address common questions and walk you through the process of placing your pledge. First off, if you've joined us for Kickstarters before, the principles are all still the same now that we're on GameFound. Your pledge amount is not finalized until the campaign ends, and you can change it at any time, and you'll still be able to change your mind about what your money goes towards in the pledge manager. The big difference is that instead of selecting pledge levels, you can browse a full list of sets and add whatever you'd like to your cart. Now the first thing you'll want to do is figure out what exactly you want. We've made a ton of videos going over how the pieces work in depth, and you can find them all on our YouTube channel in the Starforge playlist, or on the GameFound page itself. The GameFound page is broken down into several sections with all sorts of information, and you can skip from place to place by clicking these anchor links on the side. If you're on mobile, the anchor links will appear as a drop-down menu in the top left of your screen with a green arrow. The sets will be at the bottom of the page under Add-ons. We've split them up into themed collections, like Core Sets and Scatter, and put all the painted sets first with unpainted sections after for easier browsing. The Bundles category features large collections of multiple sets at an additional discount with several examples of encounters those sets can build. When you click on any of these products, it'll open up a detailed listing of that set, where you can see a description as well as an image gallery. You can click on the magnifying glass on any of the gallery images to zoom in on it, in case you want to see any of the finer details. In the case of the bundles or mega packs, you'll also see a list of all the sets that come with it, so you can look at their individual listings. Each bundle will also have a walkthrough video in its description. If you look in the rewards section, you'll see that we're doing tote bags differently than we have in the past. Before, we've always included one tote bag with every order, but since we've had requests for both zero tote bags and multiple tote bags, we've made it its own listing. So if you want a tote bag, make sure to add as many as you would like here. As I mentioned earlier, there are no pledge levels on GameFound, just rewards and add-ons, and your pledge can be made up of any combination of them you'd like. When you go to submit your pledge, you'll be taken to a screen to sort out your payment and shipping information. One important thing to note in the shipping section is that you'll need to select your country from the drop-down list. Your browser may try to autocomplete this section, but clicking on an autocomplete option won't register as a valid response, so scroll down to your location and select it from that list to move forward. GameFound has several payment options. You can use a card, Google Pay, even PayPal. However, please note that if you use PayPal, it'll charge instantly instead of waiting until the final day of the campaign. However, if you cancel your pledge before the end of the campaign, you will be refunded the full amount. In this campaign, we also have a stretch pay option. This lets you pay in installments with no additional fees or interest. Any pledge over $150 is eligible for stretch pay and will be paid in five installments. If you select this for your main pledge, the first charge will be on the day the campaign ends, and the remaining payments will happen on the same day each month following. Please keep in mind that you can only have one stretch pay going at once. If you use it for the campaign, you won't be able to use it for any additional payments you make during the pledge manager phase. I would recommend using it on whatever your largest payment is going to be. Once you've made your pledge, you can change any of the details at any time by going to your pledge. Here, you can change shipping and payment information, and you can add or remove sets at any time up until the campaign ends. If you need to cancel your pledge, there's a three-dot menu in the top right of the pledge ID window that hosts a ton of options. You can keep fiddling with your pledge all the way up until the campaign ends on April 3rd. A few weeks after campaign close, the GameFound page will turn into the pledge manager, and you'll use your same account to log in and finalize all your details. At that point, you can either keep the selections you made during the campaign, add more to it, or change what you're getting in your pledge entirely. Now, let's talk about stretch goals. First off, there are two kinds of stretch goals in this campaign, supply caches and paid add-ons. The supply caches are small collections of pieces to augment your pledge. Everybody will get one cache for every $500 they spend on sets, along with an extra cache at the $2,000 mark. There will be eight caches altogether, four different themes with both painted and unpainted options. The unpainted version of each cache will have a few more pieces to bring them up to about the same value as the painted versions. After the pledge manager closes, we'll tally up how many caches everybody gets based on their pledge and open a second round in the pledge manager for your cache selection. You'll be able to customize which caches you get, so if you'd just like more core pieces, you can go with the alpha core cache. Or if you want more doors, you can go with the portals cache. You can mix and match them all you like and get some painted and some unpainted if you prefer. The paid add-on stretch goals are new pieces that we can produce because we've gathered enough funds to cover their startup costs. When these are unlocked, they'll become new packs on the GameFound page. None of these are included with your order, and they're not included in any of the bundles during the main campaign, so if you'd like them, be sure to add their set to your pledge. During the pledge manager, we're planning to add two packs for these paid add-ons, a stretch goal pack including all the unlocked pieces at a discount, and a larger all-in bundle that will include every sculpt, including the unlocked stretch goals. As always, if you have any further questions, please ask. We're here to help, and we'll be monitoring the GameFound comments, forums, and Discord. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we'll see you in the stars.